Hello and welcome to yoga. Let's go ahead and start with our feet together. Our hands are gonna be by our side. And we're just gonna take a couple nice deep breaths in. Inhale, shoulder roll up. Exhale, relax down. And again, deep breath in. And exhale. Keeping our feet together, bring the arms down. Take a breath in, inhale, open up the chest, look up towards the ceiling. Exhale out of the top. And again, inhale, arms come down. Exhale, lifting up. Interlace those fingers, elongate through the crown of the head. Take a breath in to prepare. Exhale and slowly go to one side. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale over to the other side. Breath comes in. Exhale, we're gonna look up, bring the arms back, push the hips forward. A little hyperextension of the spine. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, hinging forward, bring those arms up as high as you can, getting mobility in those shoulders. Relax those arms down. Place them on the tops of the knees and slowly start to march right and left leg. Bending both knees, take a breath in. Exhale, head up, tail up into our cat and cow stretch. Inhale, exhale and curl. Inhale, exhale, head up, tail up. And inhale. Exhale, slowly curl up one vertebrae at a time. Breath comes in, inhale. Excellent, reach up through those fingertips. We're gonna go into our chair pose. All right, so get those feet nice and grounded, extending through those fingertips. Don't let the shoulders come up towards the ears. So sink the shoulders down, that scapula or the shoulder blades down, yeah? All right, slowly start to go into our chair pose. Glance at the knees to make sure they're not falling in. So they're pointing the same direction as that second big toe. Inhale, exhale, lifting up. Inhale, coming back down. Exhaling and hold and coming all the way back up nice and tall and into our first forward fold. So if you need to take your block and support yourself, please do. If you're able to go all the way down to the ground, do so. From this position, if your low back says it's okay, we're gonna go into gorilla. So we're gonna take the palms of our hands facing up and we actually step onto our hands. Exhale, relax. Slowly release those hands. Place them to the small of the back. Exhale, coming up. Breath comes in, inhale. Hands come to the sternum and we're gonna lift one leg up. Going into tree pose. Breath comes in. Exhale, bring those arms up. From our tree pose, we're working on balance. We're gonna bring the arms out and elbows in. From this position, pretend like you're stretching those arms back behind you to get a really deep chest and shoulder stretch. Excellent, inhale, arms come up. Interlace those fingers, draw that knee in front of you, pull it towards you, rotate the ankle around. You can either stay here or dive down towards the ball of the foot, exhale out and kick it out. From this position, we're gonna go ahead and hike it up into that hip, either hold here or slowly start to sit down, or come all the way down to the ground. If you can, you're bringing both hands together. From that position, and if you're not in that position, you're just going to go ahead and bend at the waist, hands come down to the ground into a forward fold. Use that block if you need to, if that's too much of a stretch for the hamstrings.
Bend the knees, slowly come back up, lots of balance. Bring the leg down, inhale. Arms come up into our forward fold, down to the ground. Bring the fingertips to the elbows, let the body hang. Hands come to the small of the back, slight bend in the knees, inhale, hands come up. Bring your arms to our sternum again, and we're gonna bring the other leg up for tree. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale. Slowly bring those elbows down by your side, palms are facing up, opening up the chest. Interlace those fingers, bring them to the front of you, and let's pull in that knee. Rotate the ankle. Stay here, or diving down to the ball of the foot, exhale out, kick it out. Slowly bring that leg back in, hike it up to the hip, you can either stay in this position or slowly start to come down or all the way down to the ground. I'm going to choose the middle one, middle level for this one. Slowly bring our hands all the way down to the ground, straighten out the leg that's supporting you. softened as we slowly come back up with the balance. Feet come down, breath comes in. Another forward fold, exhale down. Inhale, bend the knees. Hands come to the small of the back, lifting up, breath comes in. Drop a hand down. You're gonna go ahead and grab onto the foot going into dancer pose. So your palm is facing up as you kick the leg away from you. Using the strength of the leg, we're stretching out the pec muscles, not the chest muscles. Inhale, release. Lifting up, dropping the other arm. I'll do a side view, grab onto that foot, kick the leg away from you. Release that foot. Take another breath in. Inhale. We're going into, it's called the eagle pose. Right arm in front of the left. Bend the knees. Right foot taps out and over the top. We're trying to kind of interlace it or tuck it behind that calf a little bit. If you just want to tap the floor, that's fine too. This is our eagle pose, bringing the elbows away from the body. In, hands come up, left is in front of the right, bend the knees, tap the left leg out, up and over the top. All of these poses in yoga, we're trying to gain flexibility, mobility, okay, so that takes pressure off of the joints, which decreases injury. And release. Breath comes in. Take a big step out with those legs. Let's go ahead, turn our foot off to the side into warrior two. Reach over, exhale, reverse warrior. Really sinking into that pose. Inhale, switch the arms. One arm goes down, other arm reaches up. Pushing the arm that's touching the ground in towards that inner thigh and knee, and your knees resisting against it. Top arm comes down, inhale. Exhale, reach over. One more time, inhale. Exhale, and reach over. Arm 
arches up towards the ceiling, straighten out the legs into triangle. Abs are pulled in, slowly lifting up. We're gonna go ahead and turn towards now that bent knee for warrior one. Push off the back foot, get your balance. Kick that leg out, keep the hip down, reaching forward for warrior three. Inhale, feet come together into our salute to the sun, all the way down to the ground. <sighs> Inhale, bend the knees, exhale, step back. Nice, strong plank position. I'm pushing through the heels of my hands. My upper back is rounded, so I don't wanna sink down towards the ground. I'm gonna drop to my knees, go into child's pose, exhale. <sighs> Inhale, rock forward, warming up the chest muscles. Exhale out, push back. And again, inhale forward, exhale, push back. On this last one, inhale forward into a down dog, stretching out the calves. From our down dog position, we go into the plank and very gently exhale out into our up dog. And we're trying to elongate and stretch those abs. Inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, pushing through the heels of the hands, chest relaxes towards the thighs, and I'll start to bend the knees. Stretching the lower calf, the soleus. Take a step forward, hands come up small the back, slowly lift up. Inhale, hands come up. Turn to the middle of the mat again. Exhale, big step out turning the other foot into warrior two. Reaching forward, exhale into reverse. So if your right leg is in front, your right arm is lifted up. Into bent angle, hand comes down to the ground, looking up towards the ceiling. Inhale, top arm comes down. Exhale, we reach. And again, inhale, exhale. Try to get that wrist so it's over the toes. Bringing that hand up towards the ceiling, going into triangle, stretching out that inner thigh. Abs are drawn in, slowly coming up, turning towards that right leg into warrior one. Pushing off that back foot, getting your balance, going into warrior three. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, down to the ground. <sighs> Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, hop back. <sighs> Inhale, down into a hover. So if you can, you're one inch off the ground, strengthening those triceps. Exhale, out of dog. <sighs> Inhale, drop down if you can. Lift yourself up. Exhale, down dog. <sighs> Remember, anything I do on my hands, I can drop down to my forearms. Anything I do on my toes, I can drop down to my knees. If you can, start to bend the elbows, the head comes down, the nose, the chin, the chest. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale, drop the chest down, the face back into the down dog. Going into pigeon, we're going to bring our right knee forward into pigeon, stretching out those glutes. Transition into a down dog. Left knee forward, pigeon. And whatever feels better, I can be up or I can be relaxing down. Mm -hmm. 
lifting yourself back up into the plank position. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna lower ourselves down all the way to the ground, flatten those feet out. So we're pointing the toes, pushing our feet into the mat. Hands are right by our sides, okay? Pushing your legs into the ground, squeezing the glutes. You're gonna lift with your back, okay? So you're retrospinning. Exhale, inhale, relax. Exhale and lift. This is our cobra. Good. Now we just strengthen those back muscles. Let's go ahead and stretch them out into child's pose. So big toes are touching, knees are separating, and relax forward. Let's walk those hands to the right. And walk those hands to the left. Bring those hands back to center, relaxing the chest down. And we're gonna come up onto our hands and our knees. Abs are drawn in, and we're gonna go into bird dog, reaching out, opposite arm, opposite leg, holding for four, three, two, and switch. Reaching out, and switch. One more time on each side. And last one, reaching out with the arm. Try not to let that low back sway down, so it's almost like you're pushing your low back up towards the ceiling. And relax. We're gonna go ahead and have a seat on our bottom. We're gonna cross those ankles. We're gonna relax our hands onto our knees or our thighs and slowly drop that ear towards the shoulder, stretching out those traps. Slowly tilt the chin up, looking up towards the ceiling. Inhale, bring the chin down. Exhale, let the head go to the other side. Slowly tilt the chin up towards the ceiling. And relax. We're gonna take the right leg and you're gonna bring it up and over and we're gonna twist towards that right thigh. So we're going into a spinal twist. That right elbow, excuse me, your left elbow is touching that right knee. We're gonna bring it up towards the ceiling and let's go ahead and go into a tricep stretch. As we do that, let's switch the legs around. Right arm now reaches up, breath comes in and twists towards that left leg. Reaches up, grab onto the elbow and bring it back behind you. Try not to yank on your head. Legs are gonna go back into our ankles cross. And last. 